right, this is a typing test for this uh, Smith Corona Galaxy Deluxe. Um, see, I'm messing around with the easy tabs up here. Uh, here I'll clear this one. Yes. It's also got the power space, which allows you to chug across the page if you want to do that. So this this is great for um, typers who have a project that involves movement around the page, or going back and forth. Uh, they were in competition with electronic typewriters. Um, but honestly, this is going to be pretty comparable uh, speed-wise to an electric. You still have to focus. I, I mean, comparable w with accuracy. Um, you still have to focus on electric to get your fingers right and, and whatnot. Um, and this is a pretty good this is a speedy machine. These are nice for manuals. And it's a limited edition gold. I forgot to show you the tan plate, but it's kind of fun instead of the black. So I'm going to be typing a poem from uh, the 1970s uh, by Robert Bly called Night of First Snow, in honor of this 70s gold machine here. My book doesn't want to stay there. All right, so there's our caps lock. That looks great. There you hear the bell. The uh, zing across the page is really nice. Crisp. But you can tell it's uh, been cleaned out. Lubed up. So now the margin release had to go one over. Actually, it occurs to me I've been typing uh, with high pressure, so I'll switch it to low. A little bit closer to um, what it feels like typing on a computer keyboard. Still got to do more work, but uh, these these machines are actually 
I think, about as close as you get to typing on a computer. Oops. Didn't quite hit there. You can see I'm a little faster. There's a little less pressure on the fingers, but you got to be careful to be more precise with your um, touch typing. Alright, so now we'll do the uh, the letter test. Allows you to see that all the keys strike uh, and that the vertical alignment is correct. Thank goodness I remember the alphabet correctly. All right, there we go.